So why don't you tell me about the Crystal Radiance Hydrating Elixir and why it's special to you and to Benedetta's mission? Oh my goodness. Well, I created the Crystal Radiance Hydrating Elixir back in 1986. Uh, I used it in a clinical setting uh, with a doctor of preventative medicine whose patients were by and large uh, were struggling with Bell's palsy and stroke. She was initially a cardiologist and wanted to do chelation therapy and different forms of therapy to get them off the meds they were on and to also re-strengthen their facial repatterning to uh, you know, strengthen the area that they were suffering from the strokes. <clears throat> so she hired me to do some of that. Um, as a Jinshin practitioner and an esthetician, I was licensed to do so. Uh, and from that, within several months, I noticed that what was severely lacking in all of them, and, and not just those with that uh, debility, but people at large, was hydration. People are suffering from hydration. Even my clients that were extremely oily were definitely dehydrated and suffering from dehydration. So even though you know, in the late 70s and 80s, there were many of us that were drinking purified water and knew the benefits of it. We couldn't drink enough to, you know, have any kind of response to the skin. The skin just was always depleted. So we're not either drinking enough, we're not, our bodies aren't able to absorb it. And then there were companies like Evian. You know, we were drinking Evian water and then Evian came out in the 70s with a spray in a tin can, and I remember going to France and spraying my face with Evian water. So I think there was a lot of messaging that said, hydrate within, hydrate without. And uh, <clears throat> I myself were doing some European ampules on my skin at night, um, and I just found they weren't enough, wasn't enough. And so I created these combinations of different hydrosols and essential oils and uh, vegetable glycerins and just things that really adhered well with one another kind of changed the surface tension um, but I started studying gem elixirs and I I made my own flower essences before but I'd never made a gem elixir and met this man that uh, created gem elixirs as a business for health and wellness and so once that came together I thought wow that's the missing link that's the missing link energetically to create a substance that's really going to help enliven the skin prior to using an oil treatment but more importantly to use alone at night so I was really interested in the alone at night prospect of something that could be sprayed on the face that was really more nutrient rich and that holistically allowed the skin to do its best. So I created the Neroli uh, Hydrating Elixir. It was the first one I created. I started using it on the clients. They were like, what is this? People were spraying it on their mouth or on their nose and nobody wanted, was like, is that cold? What is that? Um, got people behind it. So we did kind of a clinical test, had people take it home, made tiny little one ounce bottles with sprays. Uh, and we found that there was a huge difference in their hydration level by just using it at night, not during the day. As we progressed, I was doing custom blended treatments on them. So they were using oil-based products. They were taking those oil-based products home. So we were saying, use the water before oil. This is 1986. Fast forward a few months later, the man that I was purchasing my oils and, and trying to get quantities of hydrosol from, uh, loved the idea, said, you know, I had thought of doing something like this years ago, you know, from France, we're always spraying rose water and neroli water on our faces, but this is more complex, put it in a package and I'll distribute it through my company. So that really got my start. So I started looking into packaging, learning more about packaging than I ever thought I'd ever know. And by February 1st, 1987, we had it in commerce. You know, we had a brochure on it. And within about a year, I was training estheticians on how to use this hydrating elixir. So that, this product in particular, I'm gonna just do a little succussing, a little shaking. 
really gave Benedetta her start.